So this will be an incredibly boring topic for most people, maybe everybody, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway because I feel like it's important um, to give a different perspective that, um, you know, might not be obvious um, to some. So, because I was actually just chatting um, to Fox from Tom's in Town Cafe and we were just talking about the continued pressure on small businesses and price increases and stuff like that. And, and I've had to have more price increases recently um, because my suppliers keep having price increases. So like, if every time I get an invoice that I gotta pay, the price has gone up, I have to pass that on. Like, there's only a certain amount as a small business owner that you can absorb. Um, on top of like exorbitant freight costs and all these kinds of things um, yeah there has been more price increases and I'm, I'm very aware that I'm like toeing the line in terms of affordability um, but there's very little I can do about it you know like at the end of the day I've got to pay, be able to pay my employees who I just gave a pay increase to because um, you know the cost of everything has gone up and can I afford it barely um, but I want them you know to have a decent pay as well um, I can't give myself a pay increase I'm lucky to get paid but um, yeah I guess I just wanted to put it out there because I feel like a lot of regular customers probably go to the website like oh prices have gone up again prices have gone up again and just want to make it clear that it's not to line my pockets um, it's to stay open um, and it's literally I'm only increasing prices where I'm receiving price increases and I am receiving a lot of price increases from all my suppliers um, even multiple price increases in the matter of weeks um, from some so like if it costs me more it costs you more unfortunately and um, yeah I've got to pay my bills you know um, and yeah as we were actually just chatting about whether you know everything's gone bananas and whether prices will come back down when things settle down but that's the thing is I don't think they will you know people put their prices up um, for like fruit and veg and all that kind of stuff but are they gonna put them back down when things get back settled I don't know like you know I'd love to put prices back down on things if my suppliers put prices back down but I don't think anyone's going to so it's it's a bit of a pickle um, yeah I feel like I had another point to make but maybe I didn't um, so that's kind of all thank you for your support um, I do really appreciate it and I really hope that can still see the value in what we do and what we provide and um, yeah if, if if I can I'll put prices back down but it's not looking like that's gonna happen so but I'm, I'm certainly certainly hoping that that the few things I've had to increase lately I, I hope that that's it for a little while I really do um, I don't like putting the prices up at all uh, when I do it I literally just see my customers dropping away and it breaks my heart um, but yeah I do have to focus on um, ultimately I have to try to be profitable or I don't exist as a business I have to at least try to make enough money to pay for this vehicle that I'm driving and pay my fucking mortgage um, <laughs> that I now have so yeah um, 